All right, guys. So we're looking at Kono Hirix, um, a copter remnants. Oh man, I'm bad at English. Okay, okay. Let's continue though. Anyway, it's an awesome mod that allows you to explore a new dungeon, and you can walk the path of war and collect a bunch of awesome armor, I guess. So you can make your own Dragon Priest armory. Um, so there's a lot of new stuff. It looks like we're gonna start out with a quest and stuff. See what happens. So it says read a new book called The Dragon Forge. Doesn't know, tell you how to get it, but I just guess that it might be uh, like randomly spawned, or I just went and looked in here and it was in here for some reason. So I mean, I guess it was a good guess. So anyway, I found Dragon Forge right here in White Run on this desk. Pretty obvious. So. Uh, it has some stuff on here. Uh, so since the collapse of Dragon Cold Sin, we're in the theater. Much about that time in the Skyrim's history has been lost. Little is known about the Dragon Priests who ruled over men in the name of their Dragon Masters, which some believe in each priest reportedly directly to the Dragon Overlords. Many stories point to the cults being led by a council of the few elite priests. Some say there were five high priests, while others report there were being as many as a dozen on the council. The council of the priests' powers widely varied. It is commonly accepted among scholars that the dragon priests were the first men to learn to shout as the dragons did. Other stories tell of priests uh, being able to absorb the life force from the prisoners or even transform into dragons. While well, the priests most likely did not turn into dragons, no one can dispute the destructiveness of their powers or the uh, on omnipotence of their masters. Another aspect of dragon priests is that they cause much fear and speculation among the amongst the priests, cult priests, and their imposing armor. Dra dragon priests all wore armor that mimicked in appearance their dragon masters. A few dragon priests even donned mimic masks of Phoenix design. While this was certainly meant to instill fear in their followers, many also believe that the great powers came from these armors. Uh, many tales asserted of the priests armors were forged by the dragons themselves, or at least blessed by them. Several stories revolve around a fabled temple clone a vehicle in him. That might be where we're going. As the legend goes, at the top of the mountain, each eagle stands guard over Vilcom. Under this mountain, a secret forge exists where armors can be crafted and enchanted by dragons. Might be where we're going. The exact location of Vilcom is unknown. The stories fall into one two camps. Some say it's north of the the Yorg Vorgrim River, while others claim the eagle watches over the long white river. During the Dragon War, many stories passed between the warriors, each wider wilder than the last. Some spoke of a magic gate in the eastern mountains where Alduin, the leader of the dragons, could enter other realms. Although Vilkham has yet to be found, the existence is still a possibility. Such a discovery would greatly inform the little we know about the dragon's cult and their workings and practices. Phew, that was a lot to read. But that was basically a lore background for us. So we actually uh, know what we're doing. It's good that I read that. So it did add some kind of map marker. Which is somewhere. It, was it this one? Vigilant? Hall of the Vigilant. We're just going to look at all these map markers. Because I actually have more than one. I'm sorry, guys. About that. Oh, this is one right here. <laughs> it's. We don't know where it is, but I immediately know where it is because I'm the Dragonborn. So that's pretty easy. So we're just gonna head out there, I guess. Did not mean to do that. Hey, you want to follow me? You know Ain't nobody high happening. and mighty in these halls, except in the yard. Okay, you don't, don't want to follow me for some reason. Okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> she doesn't like me. I actually do a video of the whole armors. Depends on what the. I do, because they might have to the crap or something like that, the specific forge. We'll have to see as this mod continues. This is a big dungeon and stuff. Don't know how many episodes this will include. We'll just have to see. Uh, I guess I'll go to Snowvale Sanctum. Snowvale Sanctum. Can't say any words right. 
It just can't. Impossible for me to do. All right, come, Shadow Man. Okay. We shall ride into the darkness. Is this the right one? I have no clue. Uh, quests. I'm trying to look at the map. What am I doing here? Oh, this is way off. I should have zoomed in. I'm sorry about that. Oof. Let's go to this place. <laughs> wow. I was way off. I can't be much more off. <laughs> Whatever. Now ride, my horse. Ride into the mountains. So you must find the sanctum. As dragons, of course, attack me. Well, they will have to fight a dragon, though, so. I would suppose I would have to. I'm just gonna stealth up here somehow. It's gotta be right up right here, probably. Got nice little stairs going up. Does Dungeon even have a quest? <laughs> Come on, my horse, don't do this to me. We're almost there. I'm getting off you. All you've caused is a mess. How do I get up? Where's the entrance? Oh, right here. So here we are in the dungeon. Let's actually uh, get a weapon out, I guess. So I actually don't know how long this is going to take us. Like I said, if it works out, we'll deal with those, I guess. I hate them so much. What's that? Ow. Of course it's level. Don't deal with these guys knocking me over every five seconds. That's the problem with them, they always knock me over. They always shout at me. Oh, this goes down. Big old dungeon to explore. Okay. Okay, got a potion recipe. Interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Die! I think you're stuck over there. Never mind, I got to you. Um, yeah, we're good here. Um, is there really nothing here? The Dragon Forge. Oh, that's another one of these. So I actually, you can actually play. Get it here, I guess. Okay. A clay mask. Huh. So it's just a regular one, I guess, when you're making them. Uh, their long voyage, the 
True Abyss finally arrived at Windhelm. I asked the locals about the nearby landmarks and a uh, common, common little soldier uh, by the name of Runewolf Free Winter mentioned a eagle statue overlooking your grim. I will make my way down the river tomorrow. Following the river, I came to Angus Mill, a pleasant yet modest settlement. Workers pointed out an eagle statue at the top of a mountain up north. I believe it may be a landmark that I haven't searched for. Curl at the peak, there was a staircase carved right out of the side of the mountain, and by and a cave led to a Nordic ruin. Not too many dragon um, and I have found one some living quarters. A few dragons that are around seem to be benign. I will begin preparation immediately. The ruins are more extensive than I anticipated. The mess seems to be um, more realistic the, the deeper I go, but all the quarters further down seem to be carved in. I cannot leave until I have positively ruled out the solution as being the lost temple of Vrakhem. It worked. It, I, I was right. There is a dragon break here. The mess has taken me back in time. What was once a ruin now appears as been as the day it was constructed. I can hear movement beyond the door. I must not allow anyone in the past to see me, or I could be irreparable harm to the timeline. Uh, today I finally mustered up the courage to venture out of the living quarters while well in the past, but I mo a moment I stepped out of the room, I returned to my own time. How anticlimactic. A dragger in the living quarters awoke today. I panicked and put on the mask. It after narrowly avoiding his swing, I could hear voices on the other side of the room. I could not make, make out what they were saying. I moved the mask as soon as I saw the door begin to open. The drugger had gone back to resting, but how far along? Wait, does the mask stop him from looking at you? Interesting. I guess I would never know that if, um, if I didn't do that. After navigating the ruins, I have reached a dead end. The way is blocked by a circular puzzle door at the end of the hall stories, but I cannot figure out why to open it. I should go back to the quarters and go over my Nordic ruin notes. Uh, the dragger came out at me again today. I used a mask to escape, but while in the past, a ancient Nord saw me. I took off the mask immediately, of the, immediately, of course. I did not know if I could continue to use the mask or not. I may have already altered the timeline. Huh, I'll send you back to time, I guess. I don't know. I cannot conduct research like this. Every time the dragger wakes up, I slip on the mask and wait until someone spots me. I don't know how much longer I can keep traveling back and forth. So tired, must sleep. Interesting. Let's put it on ourselves see what happens. Oh no! Okay then. So I guess we went back in time. Huh. Slightly different. Oh, yeah, it works exactly like he said it would. So, what if I do it outside the room? Why not enter the place? Weird. Interesting. So, what if we. Can we do that in other rooms, maybe? Let's we'll explore, so we'll just keep uh, running around. Hello. Uh. I don't know what's down here. I guess we're going down. I guess. <laughs> Great. That was the other way to go, but I don't know what to do. Don't know which way to go, so I'm going down. So I guess it's the other way. There's a big old chest here. Okay. Nothing really good. But we got. Die! Oh, there's a way right here. Burial urn. Hello. He's in the library. For nice dwarves. Dwarves. Hello. No 
It seems nice in here. What if we put on the mask now? What happens? Anything? No, nothing's happening in this room. 